Hi! You are viewing the first ever very official Slave Free September vlog! Good for you! My name is Marley Butler and I founded Slave Free September last year as a way for your good self, my good self, any other good selves that are around uh, to fight slavery in a more realistic capacity. I've also got something to tell you about Slave Free September this year, but in order to do that I need to give you a little history lesson. There was this guy a fair while ago who rather ambitiously decided he was going to do this crazy thing and it took him most of his life to accomplish and he was accused of sedition, he had an opiate addiction that he needed to overcome. It turned out the fight had claimed the very best of his health, he didn't live very long after, but in the end William Wilberforce accomplished the abolition of the English slave trade. Now, obviously, for William Wilberforce, as with any other revolutionary who stood for a cause, Rob Roy, Gandhi, Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Jr., Captain Severdine, there had to be a moment where he decided to stand. And because William Wilberforce was a part of the era where everyone kept a diary, we know when and where that decision was made. After months of deliberation and wondering and do you mind if I don't, um, he made the decision to fight for the abolition of slavery under an oak tree at his mate William Pitt's house on the 12th of May, 1787. Okay, end history lesson. What has that got to do with this latest campaign? Well, while we continue to turn a blind eye to modern day slavery, our privileged lifestyle here in the first world will continue to come at the expense of the destruction of liberty in the third world, which isn't good. This won't stop unless we say something. So this year, we're gonna say something. In honor of a decision made under an oak tree, join me on the 12th of May, to take a stand against modern day slavery. The campaign of the Wilberforce Oak will be 24 hours of calling en masse for companies such as Target and Apple and Cadbury and any other offending company you care to name to amend their practices and remove the blight of slavery from their reputation. We'll also be petitioning local governments, MPs, senators. What's what's that one that Americans have? Congressmen basically asking for our politicians to use the power that they have to shed a light on slavery and also remove the influence of slavery that currently exists in our country and your country if your country is not my country. In order to get involved in the campaign of the Wilberforce Oak it's pretty simple. All you have to do is petition away. But what, how do you do that? You're not some amazing letter writer. There is an amazing website called Chain Store Reaction and they have form letters you can just send off and they'll keep track of them and they'll mark the responses and everything. It's really amazing. There is a link to this website below. Or you can go to the Slave Free September Tumblr. I know! We have a Tumblr! And there's some form letters there that you can use or you can always write your own if you'd like. You should also check out the Slave Free September Tumblr. Not just because it's awesome! For more information. In closing, I'd just like to remind you of the immortal words of the wonderful Hugh Laurie. In order for evil to flourish, all that is required is for good men to spout cliches.